long, long before eating fermented foods became, became popular for gut health, cultures around the world were using the process to help them preserve their food. The earliest recorded date of fermentation goes as far back as 6,000 BC. Now, the process of fermentation is a metabolic one that converts sugars into acids, gases, and alcohol. Fermented foods are foods that have been through the process of lacto-fermentation, where natural bacteria feed upon the natural sugars in our food, creating a lactic acid. So now that some of the techie stuff is out of the way, I wanted to share with you five reasons why you should be including fermented foods into your cancer-fighting diet. The first off is that fermented foods contain probiotics. Um, and these are friendly bacteria that help to balance our own gut bacteria. And a happy gut is good health. A healthy gut is responsible for so many things in our health. But to name a few, a healthy gut supports our immune function, aids in detoxification, and in digestion. So fermented foods supporting the gut necessarily help aid with digestion. Fermenting foods is partially, it's like partially digesting food before we even consume them. This means that there will be less work for the rest of our digestive tract to do, less energy expelled. Due to the fermenting process, it's interesting to know that people who are lactose intolerant can often consume fermented milk products like kefir because the lactose through the fermentation process is broken down. The third reason that you should consider adding fermented foods to your diet is uh, enzyme production. So we produce our own enzymes to help break down the food that we eat. And once we break down the food, it's shunted off to our bloodstream. Probiotics, the probiotics in fermented foods produce their own digestive enzymes. So they're adding their muscle to this whole process as well. Number four is that fermented foods greatly increase the bioavailability bio of the nutrient content in the food that's fermented. So the process of fermentation improves not just the, the nutrient quantity, but the digestibility of the nutrients and the bioavailability, there's that word again, the bioavailability of the nutrients in the food that has been fermented. So let's use uh, dairy again as an example. The fermenting of dairy products increases its folic acid content and also helps to increase the absorption of iron. And the fifth reason that uh, you should be considering using fermented foods in your diet is that they help to support our immune system. And we all know that a healthy immune system is key for preventing cancer. It's estimated that about 80% of our immune system is in our gut. And so ingesting fermented foods by improving digestion, by improving the state of our gut, helps to support our immune system. Fermented foods also uh, provide us with uh, lots of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, again, supporting our immune system. They may not be familiar to you. It may be something new for you to consider, we can ferment basically any food, but to start off with, there are simple ones that you can try and incorporate into your diet throughout the week. We're talking about yogurt here. I'm talking about yogurt here, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, apple cider vinegar. All of these are fermented foods. When it comes to the apple cider vinegar, you want to make sure that you're buying it with the mother in it. That means that it's unpasteurized, so it still contains its probiotic value. Look at the labels when um, you're buying your yogurt. You want to make sure, too, that that's unpasteurized. It's, it's an easy step to try and include these into your cancer-fighting diet. Try and include a few each week 
get used to the taste, get used to the different varieties of it. And I guarantee that you will start feeling a difference in how you feel, how your gut feels. It's an important, important piece of your overall health and especially in preventing cancer. <laughs>